Me? Oh, I'm wearing the same thing I wore at every White House Correspondents' Dinner. Jeans, tuxedo t-shirt, jean jacket. It's the Canadian tuxedo. It's solid, it's classy, it's elegant, it's timeless. Want to know the exact moment when Donald Trump decided he was going to run for president? That was the moment when then-President Barack Obama strolled to the podium at the annual White House Correspondents' Dinner and began absolutely roasting Trump, who was sitting in the audience. No one is happier, no one is prouder to put this birth certificate matter to rest than the Donald. And that's because he can finally get back to focusing on the issues that matter. Like, did we fake the moon landing? <laughs> what really happened in Roswell? And where are Biggie and Tupac? <laughs> Topical 2000s humor. It only got worse for Trump from there. Saturday Night Live star Seth Meyers followed Obama to the mic and spent the bulk of his routine savaging the billionaire businessman. Donald Trump has been saying that he will run for president as a Republican, which is surprising since I just assumed he was running as a joke. <laughs> Donald Trump often appears on Fox, which is ironic because a fox often appears on Donald Trump's head. <laughs> Gary Busey said recently that Donald Trump would make a great president. Of course, he said the same thing about an old rusty birdcage he found. <laughs> and on and on and on it went. And through it all, Trump sat stone-faced with his wife Melania by his side and the rest of the people at his table, he was a guest of Newsweek, doing the best they could not to laugh in the billionaire's face. Sidebar, I had a front row seat to all of this. I worked at the Washington Post at the time and was seated at a table just behind Trump's. My seat put the back of Trump's head between my line of sight and the stage. It was a night to remember. I took pictures. <clears throat> Thus began Trump's love-hate relationship with official Washington and the White House Correspondents' Dinner. His run for president was motivated in no small part by his desire to stick it to all of the people who laughed at him that night, the so-called elites in the nation's capital, who thought they were better than him. So while Make America Great Again was the official slogan for Trump's 2016 campaign, the unofficial slogan could well have been, I'm gonna show you all. So you would think that once Trump won the White House then, he would make attending the Correspondents' Dinner a major priority, since it would provide him the perfect opportunity to shove his win in the faces of the collective political and media elite who laughed at him all those years ago. But no, Trump declined to attend in 2017, quote, I will not be attending the White House Correspondents Association dinner this year. Please wish everyone well and have a great evening, he tweeted. In so doing, he became the first president in more than three decades to take a pass on attending the dinner. Sidebar. The last president, before Trump, not to go to the dinner that was Ronald Reagan in 1981. He had a pretty good excuse. He was recovering from being shot in an assassination attempt. Now, look, I've been to a lot of these dinners. It's not the most amazing thing ever. You put on a tuxedo or a fancy dress. You crowd into a massive ballroom. You try to find your seat amid a sea of people all kind of looking for someone more important than you to talk to. And then you eat, or in my case, you don't eat, some sort of surf and turf that can be served to 3,000 people at around the exact same time. Not, not good. Most presidents grudgingly attended and delivered brief comedic remarks, some of which winked at the fact that they'd rather be anywhere else than where they were. But they went, because the Correspondents' Dinner is a moment in Washington. It's a time for the political and media worlds to come together, reflect on the year that was, and think about the year that will be. Now, Trump's decision not to attend that first year of his presidency has now morphed into a broader argument against political culture in Washington. In 2018, he held a campaign rally in Washington, Michigan. <laughs> Was yeah. And in 2019, he chose Green Bay, Wisconsin for a rally. Here's Trump from that Michigan speech in 2018. I could be up there tonight smiling like I love where they're hitting you shot after shot. These people, they hate your guts. Shot. And then I'm supposed to... And you know, you gotta smile. You may have heard I was invited to another event tonight, the White House Correspondents' Dinner. 
but I'd much rather be in Washington, Michigan than in Washington, D.C. right now. That I can tell you. In 2019, Trump went even further than he had in his previous two years, though. Not only did he decide not to attend the Correspondents' Dinner, his administration banned anyone within it from going. In 2018, even though Trump wasn't there, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders was a featured guest. Comedian Michelle Wolf went after Sanders in very personal ways, saying at one point, I actually really like Sarah. I think she's very resourceful. Like, she burns facts, and then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. Like, maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's lies. It's probably lies. Here's the thing, though. Despite Trump's publicly stated disdain for the Correspondents' Dinner, he still manages to watch it and tweet about it. Quote, While Washington, Michigan was a big success, Washington, D.C. just didn't work. Trump tweeted after the 2018 event, quote, Everyone is talking about the fact that the White House Correspondents' Dinner was a very big, boring bust. The so-called comedian really bombed. Punctuation. He followed that up with this, quote, The White House Correspondents' Dinner is dead as we know it. This was a total disaster and an embarrassment to our great country and all that it stands for. Fake news is alive and well and beautifully represented on Saturday night. End quote. Ask yourself this. Do you ever get that fired up about something you really don't care about at all? And the answer is, of course you don't. Donald Trump can say all he wants, that he hates the Correspondents' Dinner and official Washington. But what he really hates is how much he cares about all of it. And that is The Point. We release New Point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.